Hey there, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be all about fall lip colors. And I was thinking about this the other day, I was putting on a lip color and I was like, oh, this is gonna be such a great fall lip color. And then I thought to myself, hmm. And I a little, little thought popped up here and I was like, hmm, video idea. So this is all nude fall lip colors. And then I think what I'll do is I'll do a separate video on kind of bolder reds, burgundies, plums fall lip colors, but this is going to be all the more nude fall lip colors. Now, what defines a nude fall lip color? I mean, whatever. These lip colors can be worn all year round, but I tend to find them a bit more suitable for fall because they tend to be a nude but deeper, so they have much more of a more plummy or more brown undertone. And, you know, I definitely have to be careful with certain of those like deeper nude lip colors because they can look too, too dark on me or too like just dead. I'm like, ugh. So, but these are a good, you know, selection of colors that I've picked out and I've been wearing some of them for a very long time. Some are kind of a newer discovery. So let's get started. First shade is, hopefully don't like roll off the table here. First shade is the NARS, hmm, the lip covers. Is that what they're called? I think lip covers. This one's in Get Dirty. So, this one is a liquid lipstick and it's just a beautiful, a little more, not completely matte, a little more creamy, definitely more of a liquid lipstick and full coverage, more orangey brown. I find that there was another one, the other nude shade that they made. Tried that, bought it. I was like all excited. Then swatched it, looked beautiful in the swatch. I put it on and it was like a gray brown. No, no. There's certain browns that I can kind of pull off and work with and there's certain ones that are like, mm -mm, no, like throw that out, get it away. So I had to return that one. A MAC lip color that I've been wearing for a very long time. This is called Modesty. And this one is a, a little bit more of a plummy, um, nude shade. It is a cream sheen. So it has a little bit more of a creamy finish, a little bit more, uh, you know, slip to it, but still pretty full coverage. All right. This one I've been talking about recently a ton. And this one is the Bare Minerals liquid matte liquid lipstick. The new ones that just came out for the Gen Nude. And this one is Soleil. I would say the NARS one that I just tried on is a little bit more full coverage. This one is like a more sheer liquid lipstick. And that's why I really like it because it doesn't, that, that first heaviness that liquid lipstick can have on the lips, it's like, whoa, I'm really getting some coverage here. This one does not have that. You definitely can apply it a few times and it builds up, but it dries down to a very comfortable matte finish, which is why I really love it. This one is a little bit going back a little while. This is the Too Faced Melted Chocolate. And this one in particular, I love. And this was Chocolate Milkshake. This one was very kind of brown, orangey brown, which is not like me, but I loved it on the lips. Definitely does not seem like a me color, but really uh, wears really, really well. And it smells like chocolate. Yep totally smells like chocolate. So if scent bothers you, then just skip this one. But it's a pretty um, full coverage lipstick. It's actually more full coverage than the Bare Minerals, but it doesn't dry down to like a matte finish, I find. It stays pretty creamy on the lips. Another liquid lipstick that I like is the Laura Mercier. Mm, this is their paint wash liquid lipsticks. This is a nude rose. This is more of a brown rose shade that one right there. These can be a little tricky, however, because they're very slippery. The texture has an intense slip to it. So as you're applying it, it can just, you know, it, it requires a little more of a high maintenance-ness to it when applying it. So it sometimes works well with like a lip liner or something to kind of outline the lips to give you kind of a guide. All right, where am I gonna go next? Where am I gonna go next? Okay, this one by Urban Decay. I discovered this like last winter. This is their matte, the Revolution, matte Revolution. This one is Protest. 
really kind of that peachy brown, kind of a 90s lip look. Really comfortable matte lipstick. A lot of these are matte textures, obviously, because I love a full coverage kind of matte lip in the fall. It looks great. You can kind of pull off like darker tones or more matte textures in the fall. And this one is such a comfortable matte though. Really, really, this um, formulation, the, is it the Matte Revolution? I'm pretty sure it's the Matte Revolution. Maybe it's just the regular Revolution. Maybe I'm totally wrong. Anyway, it's one of the revolutions, either matte or regular, and it's protest. I, I want to say it's matte, but I could be wrong. And I'll link it below and then you'll be able to know for yourself. It's like a little surprise. Okay, Charlotte Tilbury, the Walk of Shame. This is a little bit more of a brick color. So I like to wear this a little bit more sheer. Like when I put it on, I like to dab it and blot it with a tissue. And because it is a little more of a brick red and sometimes it can look a little too, I don't know, like nineties, but in a bad way. So, but I love that just kind of really blotted down. And once I blot it down, it gives more of a stained look like lip look a brick red stain to the lips and it's beautiful all right this bobby brown shade and it is the Lux lip color this one's in neutral rose very similar to the charles tilbury actually and but a little more creamy the charlotte tilbury is definitely it kind of tugs at the lips a little bit the formula, whereas the Lux lip color from Bobbi Brown, it glides on, it feels heavenly on the lips. And this one in neutral rose is just a really, it's not very neutrally rose to me. I feel like it's a little more brick red sepia mixed with some rose. That's what I would describe this a little more, but it does look really nice when on the lips. Okay, I have, oh, this is a matte, oh goodness. This is a matte lip pencil that I tried either this year or late last year. And it is by Nude Sticks and it's Bell. Oh my gosh, you can tell I'm right-handed. Using my left hand is such a struggle. Oh my gosh, this lip color, perfection. And it it manages to, I feel like it, it, I don't know, I feel like it blends all of these shades into the perfect shade. I think if I had to pick any one of these, I feel like this is, probably my most perfect fall lip color um, because it's just not too orange, not too rose, not too brown, not too brick, not too plum. It's like just, it's like the Goldilocks of <laughs> um, uh, lipsticks, like fall lipsticks. And um, so yeah, I really love that one. The rest are all Sephora colors and I wanted to, there's some really good Sephora brand lip products for fall lip colors. Some really good ones. This is, oh my gosh. Okay, this is the lips. It's like a lip gloss, I think. Oh my gosh, it's so hard to read. And I think it's called Earth and Fire in number 35. But it's more of a liquid, um, like a thicker gloss. But this is definitely more of a brownie neutral rose. So if you want to go fall lip color, but you are like, I don't want to commit that much. Like, I'm just not ready for all your matte full coverage textures, Mary. Like, it's just too much. This color. Glossy, gives a little bit of that deepness, a little bit of that kind of fall vibe, but so wearable and so beautiful because it's more sheer. And I'll link all these below and write down the names because I think it's number 35, Earth and Fire. Like, a little bit of scratched off. That's annoying. Okay, and then this one is one of their lipsticks, and it is um, the Sephora Rouge Matte in, there's just numbers, it's like 6041A. So I'll do make sure to write it down below. But this one is, this is a more plummy nude. This is the stop before I start to get to my real plums, like my deep, dark, vampy kind of plums. This is like the, the train stop before that, because this definitely starting to get a little more plum purple and it definitely wears very dark on my lips. But 
I can blot it down to make it much more wearable. This is uh, the Sephora Balm, the Rouge Balm in the shade, I think this is B07. I guess it all, I'll link it all below. And it's more of a sheer, a little more sheer, not as sheer as the lip gloss, but a little more orange. But this is a, a non-committal as well. So if you really don't want to go full coverage matte, this one is a really, really beautiful option because like I said, it is very sheer. A little more, more on the orange side. And then the Sephora Cream Lip Stain in shade 13. Mm, mm, mm. I don't know why I haven't tried these before. This one is quite intense. It is all over my arm. You can see, you can obviously tell I'm not left-handed because look at, look, they don't even match. Most of these like match in width and depth and like length and stuff. These are like drawn by like a four-year-old, I swear. But you get the drift. So number 13, the cream lip stain from Sephora. This is for those of you that want to commit, you want to just do it, jump in the pool. This is a very plummy, deep, um, I feel like this is a little more pink than this one up here, the lipstick. I feel like this one has a little more pink in it. I know it may not seem like that way on camera, but looking at it in person, it definitely does. So here is all of the swatches. Here is what they look like. And I will list them all down below in order, and I'll try to find the names or the numbers at least. I mean, I don't mind when brands do numbers, but I'd rather be like one, two, three, four. But when they like mix it all up together, I'm like, it's hard to go in and be like, I'd like A0362. Like, what? Um, so, but I will try to find all the exact names or numbers and link them all in order down below. And I hope you found this uh, video helpful and fun to find some new fall lip colors. And I will be, stay tuned for later when I will do a fall lip color video of like all of my deep shades. So the the wine shades, the burgundies, the bold reds, all that sort of thing that will be coming in the next few weeks. Okay. And if you guys have any questions, leave me a comment below and thanks for watching. Talk to you guys soon. Take care. Bye-bye.